Kina, Kina. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie. So for today's video, we're going to do a first impressions on the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Moisturizer. So the reason why I got this product and chose to review it today, because I know it's a men's product and it's not really common to like, feature this kind of product in the beauty community. But I've heard so many good reviews about it and some people say it's one of the best primers that you can have, especially if you have oily skin. Another reason why I became super curious about this is because if you guys watched my Glossier review, and with every Glossier product that you get, you also have a sample. The sample product that I got is the Priming Moisturizer, which I super love, but it's pretty expensive. So naturally, I went to Google and typed Glossier Priming Moisturizer and this is one of the things, well this is the most affordable thing that came out the search results. So if you guys are as curious as I am, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the packaging. So this product is pretty easy to find in the drugstore. I saw this immediately at Watson's. And I like that they are so explicit with the features of the product. It has 0% alcohol, it has no burning, and it is for sensitive skin. You get 50 ml of product, it says so right here for 252 pesos, which I think is pretty reasonable. It also says here cool, which means that it does give like a cooling sensation on your skin after applying it. I am super curious to try that out. You have claims here at the back which says instantly moisturizes and relaxes the skin, refreshes, helps prevent skin from drying, non-sticky, non-greasy, and fast absorbing. You also have a full list of ingredients here on the side. The second thing we're going to talk about are the ingredients. Now, I'm not really like a scientist or a chemist, so I don't really fully understand all the ingredients but what's important for me are the top three did you guys know that by seeing the first ingredient that means that it takes up most of the solution in your product so it says here on the box that the first ingredient is aqua which is water of course the second is glycerin which if you guys own a Mac fix plus or a setting spray or priming water glycerin actually moisturizes your skin and preps it for makeup. The third ingredient is tapioca starch, which kind of sounds weird at first because you kind of think about food, time, pearls, so ayun. But tapioca starch is actually a very common ingredient for skincare or makeup, and what it does is it prevents grease and oil buildup. The interesting thing about this is they listed perfume as the last ingredient which I hope that this product doesn't really have a lot of because I've tried smelling other men's products before and they all have a very strong and distinct smell. I'm not exactly a big fan of it but I'm not against it either. It's just it's not really my kind of scent. So those are for the ingredients. Now let's move on to the actual product. So this is what the actual product looks like. It's just mainly white and blue. Not that big as well and not heavy. So if you're going out of town, then you can definitely bring this. It's so easy to bring. But anyway, we're gonna try the product now. To dispense the product, it kind of has like this pump right here, which is pretty easy to use. But it's not like the common pump that you find or see in feminine products. So I've already put it on my hand and this is what it looks like. I would say that it has a pretty thick consistency. It's very easy to blend. This has no SPF or anything. So definitely, of course, no white cast. Okay, right off the bat, ang tapang ng amoy niya. Can you smell it, Sam? So he said it smells like a man's deo. Yeah, it smells like Old Spice. Like I said, it's not really a bad thing that it smells like a man's deodorant or parang yung parang cool ano ba cool water for men. Yeah, I can't yeah, it's or like CK for men, de ba? So yeah, it's yeah. Just like my perfume. Yeah, the more accurate description of this is it smells like cool water for men. Yung David of cool water or CK for men. That's exactly what it smells like. So if you guys are not into those fragrances, then I don't think you guys are gonna like this product in the first place. It's pretty strong. I wonder if this is gonna make me itchy. <laughs> so now that I've really blended it out on my skin, it's not sticky. I think that it feels pretty nice and it gets absorbed pretty quickly as well. 
So I have makeup on my face right now and I feel like the most ideal situation to use this product is before I put on my makeup. So I'm going to try this out for one week and I am going to get back to you guys. But I kind of want my boyfriend to try it out first. Um, can you try this out? Just try it on your face. You might like it. I want to know what it... Oh, do you have sensitive skin? Sup, YouTube. You have sensitive skin. You're wearing the same shirt from the other video. <laughs> well, he doesn't have sensitive skin. Pero, sabi nila, this one has cooling effect. I didn't really feel it nung nilagay ko dito. Let me know if you feel it on your face. So Sam's gonna help me out. He's gonna apply this on his face. One thing you gotta watch out for is kung may cooling effect. If it's irritating, if the smell is irritating on the face, like this is a moisturizer, so you really have to like put it everywhere. So that's just one pump. Moisturizer. How does it feel? May cooling effect. Yeah, I feel bad on the video. No, seriously. Yeah. It's true. I feel bad. <laughs> well, for me, matapong yung amoy, and you could smell it all the way from there. So, is it irritating? No. Okay, a bit. Like this. A bit. I feel like it's too much. Okay. I mean, it's 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 out there, but it's not like, but it's out. there. Okay, so there you have it from Sam. One concern that I really have is. The smell is so distinct that I'm afraid it might cause some allergies or it might irritate my eye area. I mean, I don't really like put moisturizer near the under eyes, but when it is here around here on the side of my face, my eyes become very very sensitive to like the fumes or yung amoy ng product. So, we're going to see. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to stay updated on the days that I don't have a video, make sure to follow me on my Instagram. It's over here. Sometimes I give updates on products on my Instagram stories, so I hope to see you guys there. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and turn on post notifications. That is super duper duper important. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!